Uh, now that students are back in school, many may be thinking about the future. And for kids in Dallas, their future is looking brighter thanks to the help from some friends nearby. Here's Sean Giggy. <laughs> Every student at Nathan Adams Elementary in Dallas has big dreams and even bigger obstacles. This is a high poverty area and more than half the students can't read at grade level. If the child can't read, it really holds them back and that even means as far as into college. So to help students down the road, they looked down the road. Less than a mile away, Many students at W.T. White High School's Collegiate Academy want to be teachers. Twice a week, they come to Nathan Adams to help read. United to Learn, a nonprofit that brings together students and the community, started the program. I love working with these kids. Being able to build that relationship with them inside the classroom, it's great. I love it. I was like them, you know? And, and be like, I can help them be better, you know? When Alison Arias immigrated from Honduras eight years ago, she couldn't speak a word of English. She says if she came this far without a tutor, imagine how much further they can go. My dreams can come true, she said, and they are. Students' scores have gotten better, and the future has gotten brighter. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? A tutor. Maya Leal wants to help people like they helped her. Little. Yeah, good job. This program, though, was never just about reading. It's about writing their own story and thank you notes. Yeah. The kids recently delivered cards to homes nearby just to say thank you for being our neighbor. It just helps build a stronger community. So they're learning that being part of something bigger than just your school is important because communities thrive when everyone is united to learn. Right behind these people, okay? In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy. I know a lot of programs are looking for mentors right now, and I mean, sometimes it's only like an hour a month. Yeah. You know, that you're, that you're being asked to give. And it makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in elementary school, I had a, a mentor who was an adult, a doctor that just, you know, I spent a little bit of time yeah. with, and I didn't end up following that career path, but I felt special that someone took the time. So, made a big difference.